My name is Greg Smith. I am working today on a demo of linear regression using Google Collab. Google Collab is a uh, Python Jupyter Notebook environment that is in the cloud. And uh, so today we're going to do an example of ice cream sales versus temperature. Do ice cream sales increase as uh, the temperature goes up? So uh, let's get started. So I've got my demo screen up. I'm logged into Google Clab. And now let's start off by doing what I call the usual suspects. Let's go get all the libraries we're going to need in order to run our program. So we're going to get matplotlib uh, plotting capability. We're going to get NumPy and Pandas, which are the data frames that are used for a lot of the machine learning algorithms, and OS, which is access to operating system features such as the file system. So now we'll go get our ice cream data, read that into a CSV. It's been stored here in our environment and should pull that right in. As you can see, uh, it's given us the first five and last five records. There are 365 rows and two columns. The first column is temperature data and the next one is sales. So um, now that we've got our data in, let's add another row. So we're creating uh, an X and Y, there we go, uh, creating an X vector and a Y vector. The X vector has all of our temperatures and the Y vector has our sales. And as you can see here, uh, the shape of the data uh, shows that we have 365 by one uh, values. So it's 365 values by a vector one wide. So next, let's do a quick uh, scatter plot and see what our temper see what our um, data looks like. So you can see here we've called the um, values reshape to get the single uh, column from the temperatures and another to get the sales. And now we're plotting using Plotlib. Uh, and we are doing a scatter plot between our features, which are the X values, and our uh, predicted values, our actual values of Y. And now down here, uh, we're telling it that the X label and the Y label are temperature and ice cream sales respectively. And this looks like a nice bit of data showing a nice linear uh, um, a relationship between the temperature and ice cream sales. As temperature goes up to as much as 100 Fahrenheit, uh, ice cream sales goes up correspondingly. So now let's split our data into testing data and training data. To do that, we're going to have to pull in the train test split function from the sklearn library. So you can see here from sklearn model selection, import train test split. Now this is designed to randomly select data from our data sets and uh, distribute it. And it's going to make a 75-25 split. Okay, and as you can see here, I've calculated the number of uh, elements in the X train and the X test data and divided by 365, the number of elements in our uh, list. And you can see it's about 75% versus 25%. So we've got a good set of test data selected. So now let's go ahead and do our linear regression. Now to do that, we're going to pull in the linear regression from the linear model uh, library. Then we're going to create the model and finally fit the data or train the model with the training data. Okay, that was quick and it's showing us that it's got a linear regression. Now let's take a quick look at the model that it's created for us, um, the slope and the intercept values. So here we're pulling out the coefficient which is the uh, slope of the line and the y-intercept. And you can see the slope is 1.19 and the y-intercept is going to be minus 33.65. So uh, that we'll plot in a second to see how well it fit the data, but now we want to get a score. We'll get our r-squared value. And this gives us an idea of how well our data was fit. 
And you can see it's scoring about 97.8, 97.9, almost 98%. That's a really good fit of data. Uh, usually anything more than 95% is excellent. So let's go ahead and plot this out. So we're gonna have to get the min values from uh, the original temperature data. And so we'll get the min and the max for the X and the Y. So here are the minimum and maximum X values, which are 39 degrees and 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's also go back and get the Y minimum and Y maximums that we predicted with our model. So you can see here we're doing model.predict on the X min and model.predict on the X max to give us the, mix, the minimum and the maximum Y values that we've calculated. All right, so now let's go back and do that same plot that we did earlier with a scatter plot. We also want to add in a line representing the linear regression that we've predicted. And there it is. I don't know how easy that is to see with the red line in the middle there. But you can see that there's the original scatter plot of the data. And then this red line is the line that our linear regression model has plotted through the data. So it shows a pretty good uh, relationship between temperature and sales. And now that we have our regression model computed, we can make predictions. If it's 70 degrees outside, we should know that we'll make about $50. Uh, in sales. So that concludes our demo. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, all this information is available in uh, my GitHub and uh, on my YouTube channel. So please feel free to go out and look it up. See you soon.